As predicted, it didn't take too long for the U.S. Air Force's bomb truck, F-15 E-Strike Eagle configuration to appear in an operational theater. Jets featuring the modified munitions carriage, allowing each to haul up to 15 joint direct attack munitions of various types simultaneously, recently arrived in the U.S. Central Command CENTCOM, area of operations. The aim of the revised loadout configuration is not to put more bombs on targets, but to bring larger quantities of smart munitions to deployed locations as part of the Agile Combat Employment Initiative, or ACE, which seeks to enhance its independence from well-established airfields, which are increasingly held at risk by potential foes. The 494th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron, EFS, the Panthers, completed the first of these missions for the type when six of its F-15ES relocated to Al Dafra Air Base in the United Arab Emirates, touching down there April 25th, after flying from an undisclosed location likely Mwafafak Salty Air Base in Jordan. The unit is home-based at Royal Air Force, England, but had already been deployed to CENTCOM. These F-15ES are carrying what is called a TAC Ferry Loadout, explained Lt. Col. Curtis Culver, 494th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron Director of Operations. What that means is we can maneuver using agile combat employment and be postured to go forward from a main operating base. This is the next step for the Air Force in agile combat employment. The Panthers train for this routinely back in U.S. Air Force's Europe, so we're always ready to flex, Culver added. We have the ability to be unpredictable, and we have additional flexibility with multiple sorties worth of ammunition available. The Panthers are obviously pumped to be part of this. We were asked to come out and support combat missions with a very short turnaround, and with the bombs not being built previously here for us," said Captain Jessica Niswanger. 494th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron Weapon System Officer and Mission Planner. By carrying more bombs than we'd actually carry to drop, we're setting up the initial days of combat. The concept of loading up an F-15E with extra weapons that can rapidly be delivered to forward bases was showcased in a proof of concept by the 85th Test and Evaluation Squadron, the Skulls, part of the 53rd Wing at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, back in February this year. During that test, an F-15E demonstrated the potential ability to carry 15 joint direct attack munitions on a single sortie. However, on that occasion, only six 500-pound class GBU-38B joint direct attack munitions were attached to the conformal fuel tank CFT, on one side of the jet, in two rows of three. The top row of precision-guided munitions is new, although these bombs can't actually be dropped during the mission. In the past, however, F-15ES have carried dumb ordnance on these same stations. Photos from Al Dafra show the jets now carrying six 500-pound class joint direct attack munitions on each fuselage side, plus four small diameter bombs on the centerline station. The jet also carries the standard defensive armament of two AIM-120 AMROM and two AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles under the wings. The forward-deployed 494th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron will begin flying air tasking orders immediately in support of U.S. Central Command, making use of these additional munitions that are fully assembled and ready to employ, rather than having to wait for them to be transported by airlifted and then built up in situ. A C-130 is still required to support an F-15E deployment of this kind, carrying personnel to arm and maintain the jets, but previously two of these transports would have been required for moving the same quantity of airmen and munitions. Reducing that burden would be a significant issue in a peer conflict, in which tactical and strategic airlift would already be at a premium. Of course, the munitions carried by the F-15ES could also be used by other aircraft flying combat missions in the same theater, an especially useful function for the fifth-generation F-22 or F-35 stealth fighters, which typically feature much reduced offensive weapons loads compared to the Strike Eagle. While we expected the TAC Ferry loadout to first appear in the U.S. Central Command Theater, 
it's clear that the concept has enormous relevance for future deployments in less permissive environments too. We have frequently reported on the U.S. military's efforts to develop procedures for operating fighters from remote and dispersed locations, including rapidly establishing new bases. In the kind of conflict that would be fought against China or Russia, established airfields would very likely be destroyed or at least temporarily put out of action at the first opportunity, making these kinds of alternatives all the more important. In these kinds of scenarios, using the F-15ES to haul the weapons around is a good option, especially if they are already heading to a forward operating location. In this way, the munitions would arrive not only swiftly, but in a ready-to-use configuration. Using the conformal fuel tank, or fast packs, F-15ES could potentially carry other types of cargo too, although there are currently no plans to develop this further that we know of. The Air Force's latest F-15EX Eagle II will offer even better load-hauling capabilities, with a 28% larger payload and two more weapon stations. In the meantime, the bomb truck F-15E configuration looks set to become a more regular site wherever the Air Force's go-to-strike fighter is required.